Migraine is a chronic neurological disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of headache of moderate to severe intensity, generally of a pulsatile nature and with hemicranial localization. It is associated with dysfunction in pain processing at the central and peripheral nervous system level, affecting structures such as the brainstem, diencephalon, and cerebral cortex. Neurobiological studies have identified genetic and epigenetic factors that predispose to cortical hyperexcitability and dysfunction in pain modulation. Migraine pain is predominantly unilateral, although it can be bilateral in some patients. Its main localization is in the frontotemporal region, radiating to the periorbital and occipital area in certain cases. This distribution is explained by the activation of the trigeminovascular system, which innervates the meninges and vascular structures of the brain. Secondary hypersensitization of meningeal nociceptors amplifies pain perception. The vascular theory of migraine postulates that changes in the caliber of cerebral vessels play a central role in the pathophysiology of the disease. It is based on two main phases. Vasoconstriction phase occurs mainly in the posterior circulation, basilar and vertebral arteries, reducing cerebral blood flow and correlating with migraine aura. This phenomenon is associated with propagated cortical depression, PCD. Vasodilatation phase, a compensatory dilatation of the meningeal and extracranial vessels, middle meningeal artery and external carotid artery occurs, generating the characteristic pulsatile headache. This vasodilatation activates the trigeminovascular system, promoting the release of CGRP, substance P, and neurokinin A, which induces neurogenic inflammation and nociceptive sensitization. The classical vasodilatation hypothesis postulated that migraine was caused by pathological dilatation of cerebral and meningeal arteries. However, neuroimaging studies have shown that vasodilatation is a secondary phenomenon and not the primary migraine event. Migraine pain spreads due to a phenomenon of progressive sensitization. In a first phase, nociceptive stimulation of meningeal fibers activates neurons in the caudal trigeminal nucleus. In a second phase, central sensitization is established by synaptic potentiation in the thalamus and somatosensory cortex, which amplifies the painful response and favors the spread of pain to other craniofacial and cervical regions. In the neocortex, cortical spreading depression, CPD, is a key phenomenon in the pathophysiology of migraine with aura. It is a wave of neuronal depolarization followed by prolonged inhibition, which propagates slowly through the cortex at a rate of three to five millimetermin FAD alters ionic homeostasis, increases glutamate release, and activates the trigeminovascular pathway. In addition, DCP induces an inflammatory response with release of pro-inflammatory mediators that contribute to central sensitization. Migraine pain spreads due to a phenomenon of progressive sensitization. In a first phase, nociceptive stimulation of meningeal fibers activates neurons in the caudal trigeminal nucleus. In a second phase, central sensitization is established by synaptic potentiation in the thalamus and somatosensory cortex, which amplifies the pain response and favors the spread of pain to other craniofacial and cervical regions. In the neocortex, cortical spreading depression, CPD, is a key phenomenon in the pathophysiology of migraine with aura. It is a wave of neuronal depolarization followed by prolonged inhibition, which propagates slowly through the cortex at a rate of three to five mmini fat alters ionic homeostasis, increases glutamate release, and activates the trigeminovascular pathway. In addition, DCP induces an inflammatory response with release of pro-inflammatory mediators that contribute to central sensitization. Neurons in migraine present abnormal cortical hyperexcitability due to mutations in ion channels such as CACNO1A, PQ-type calcium channel, and SCN1A, sodium channel. This alteration facilitates DCP and potentiates trigeminovascular system. Activation The serotonergic system plays a key role in migraine. During an attack, there is a decrease in 5 to OHT levels, which facilitates the release of CGRP and activation of nociceptive pathways. In addition, alterations in dopamine and glutamate contribute to hypersensitivity and exacerbation of symptoms.